Welcome to another Alfresco community video. We are covering today the use of Alfresco Identity Service with Community Deployment. This product provides integration with the open source identity and access management tool KeyClock and enables to use several authentication subsystems supported by Alfresco repository. Remember that Alfresco is supporting by default NTLM storing users and password in the Alfresco database, LDAP and LDAP AV that synchronizes users and group with LDAP or Active Directory, Kerberos to support single sign-on authentication, SAML that is using this open standard, and Extern that allows you to integrate your own tool. Since Alfresco Identity Service is an open source product, all the source code is available in Alfresco GitHub repository. We are reviewing a very basic configuration to date from a sample Docker Compose deployment also available in GitHub. This sample includes um, Alfresco services like ACA, SER, and Alfresco repository, and KeyClock Admin Web Console can be accessed by using that 8,999 port. A sample configuration and simple for KeyClock Alfresco RIM is provided using an initial JSON file, but you may also use this KeyClock console to design your own configuration. But let's get into it to understand how that works. Once our Fresco repository has been started, we can uh, check for all the users that Alfresco is providing by default, the admin user, guest, a feature and name Jackson. And we can log with these credentials into uh, Alfresco ACA and also into Alfresco SER. But if we are using, as we are using this uh, key clock integration, we have also some other users that may access the system. So we are going now to use this test um, user that is not yet in the Alfresco repository in order to access Alfresco. So we are using default credential for test user, and now we are in. And the same thing happens with Alfresco ser. We can use this new user that is live in KeyClock, and we can access also Alfresco ser. And what happened to the to the users in the um, Alfresco repository? So let's refresh that. Let's move that to the people, and we can see that new user that has been created in Alfresco. We can also see that this user has no properties inside. We are just letting the user uh, enter the system because KeyClock authenticate that user. But again, this user is not having any of the uh, groups uh, or, or roles that are supported by, by the user because this is a very simple integration and it's not creating all of this uh, information that is in KeyClock. So very basic uh, sample just to create the users that had permission in KeyClock in order to access Alfresco. We are going uh, now to review what else you can do with this simple integration. As we have seen, it's and very simple to use the Alfresco identity service with community deployments in order just to provide authentication, external authentication. But if you want to uh, configure some other authentication subsystems that uh, are available in Alfresco, then you have these tutorial sections on the documentation with the instructions to configure uh, some L, uh, but also uh, you can uh, configure some other uh, mechanisms like uh, LDAP 
and even you can uh, create something for the Kerberos configuration using a uh, key clock. This is only a sample as key clock provides many other different features. And if you want to see uh, some a nice uh, community uh, add-on, you can check this Alfresco key clock provided by Axel Faust. And you can learn uh, detailed configuration on some other features that KeyClock is providing and the mapping of uh, role groups and properties and many other things that you can do with that integration. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and we are uh, seeing next time with some other uh, feature for, for the Alfresco product. Let's see then. Bye.